Terry Candy here, or Candy Lady as I go by on my blog, Go Go Glue Gun Fun. And today we're making another Go Go Glue Gun film. I have four of them now. I think this is the fifth one. And today what I'm going to show you is what I do after Christmas time when I go around and I scoff up all the cheap Christmas baskets and I turn them into Valentine's baskets and I'm also going to show you how to make a St. Patrick's Day basket. I have some neighbors that make some amazing cherry chocolate soda bread and I thought I'd make them a really cute basket to have it for on their table this year. They always bring me some and it's a lot of fun to make little uh, inexpensive gifts for neighbors at holidays. I'm going to show you how to make some today. You can see up close here that it's all red and it has candy canes on it and obviously a Christmas basket and I had actually pulled off a whole big stuffed Santa Claus that was glued in the middle and now I'm going to show you how to turn it into something really fun for Valentine's Day. What you want to do is find whatever size the decoration is on the basket that you need to cover up you want to find some ribbon that's nice and wide like that. This is a purple here and this one I just love because it's green with pink and orange and I use that to cover the candy cane design on the basket. And then I took these uh, foam hearts and put them around on the basket and so you can't see the candy canes at all. And I took another pink trim here and up the handle and so you've got a totally Valentine item that was once a Christmas item. Now remember with Valentine's Day everything doesn't have to be pink and white. I brought into this this basket a lot of different colors and uh, so maybe it would be more for a child or for a teacher. This one was red and white. Had a few green trims on it which I popped off. Mostly everything's put on with glue guns just like we use glue guns. So I was able to pop them off and I decorated it with again some of the foam hearts but I also used buttons and I really took my color scheme from these little flowers. I use these in a lot of crafts. They're from uh, the fake Hawaiian Lays that you can order through. I get a lot of stuff through Oriental Trading Company um, and also go to the party cities when they're getting rid of Halloween things. But this little flower is pink on the edge and yellow in the middle and I took that color scheme and really did a nice basket of yellow and pink and the red all mixed in. Really cute. Great for Valentine's Day and giving a gift. Now this basket had just a lot of ribbon around the handle. It actually came with chocolates as a gift I got through the mail from a family member. But so it was very easy to take off the red ribbon and now I have a really basic basket that I can do anything I want with and I'm going to show you how to make it into a really cute uh, Irish decoration. I plugged in my glue gun and while it was heating up I ran around and gathered up everything I picked up over the last year. Some shamrocks, some green sequins, uh, green buttons. I always have tons of buttons. I buy them in big bulk bags. And some white lace and some shamrock ribbon and we're ready to go. Okay, you want to spend a little time planning out your design. Decide if your ribbon's going to go around the handle, if it's just going to go around the edge, how you're going to do your shamrocks, how you're going to do your buttons, if you're going to do the sequins, which is a little wild, but if you use a little bit of it, it could be very tastefully done. But you want to have somewhat of a plan. You don't just want to plaster everything on there and then suddenly you have this sort of hideous looking basket that you really wouldn't give to your neighbors. <laughs> Okay, I went all the way around with the ribbon. Wherever you're going to put your shamrocks, which I think I'm going to put here under each uh, where the handle comes down, that's where you want to stop and start your ribbon. That way you won't see the unfinished edges around. And remember as you go with the glue gun, you want to be careful not to get any hot glue on your fingers. And you only want to glue about four and five inches at a time. So you're going to take your glue gun and put your little strip of glue about four or five inches then take care pressing that down. Don't touch it with your fingers if you can help it or sometimes I use um, the end of um, a stick or a scissor or, or any a popsicle stick to just kind of push it down so I don't get the extra glue on my fingertips. I really like how this is coming out. I put three shamrocks. Remember everything doesn't have to match and be balanced and I like the two different uh, colors of the green because I found the buttons in the lighter green and I'm going to put that there so it all ties in. I'm going to run another strip, oops, bouncing buttons, another strip of this around the bottom and I think I might even go around the handle like that. 
just be careful you don't go too far. Each time you add another layer or another edge or another type of trim or something, sit back and look at it for a minute. Make sure you feel like you haven't gone over the top with too much. I reconsidered the ribbon around the handle after I put two ribbons around the basket and put on the buttons. I thought it was really cute, but I think the ribbon around the handle would just been a little bit too much. I mean, everybody has their own taste. You're going to do what you want to do. Some people like more and some people like less. I want to put a pretty little linen napkin in here. And of course I'm going to send it over with maybe some Irish cream in it. Um, and then hopefully I'll get it back with some chocolate cherry soda bread. Maybe I should make two and send them both over there. Then one will come back full of something. The other one they can keep. That sounds like the best deal. I want a great little um, napkin to put in here to cover your bread to keep it nice and warm. You can pick these up. Look who's in here, my favorite snake. We're going to make this next week on Go Go Glue Gun. This is an adorable craft your kids will just love to do. It's filled with the rice just like my uh, Valentine snowmen. Google eyes, tongue, and really cool rattlesnake tail. So I'll see you next time for another episode of Go Go Glue Gun Fun. Happy St. Patrick's Day!